Now this is what I call a grand prize. Two tickets on the maiden voyage of the S. S. Colosso. Ha <laughs> ha! Sure was lucky I went to the policeman's ball this year. Statistically speaking, luck had nothing to do with it. You bought the entire roll of raffle tickets. So? It was still a great deal. I really needed a vacation. Anyway, you got no reason to squawk. I invited you along, didn't I? For which I am, of course, grateful. Come on, Murph. Get psyched. Even New Detroit's Cop of the Year needs a little rest and relaxation. I'm not sure how relaxing this will be. News reports indicate that the Colossal may have serious problems. Hey, the ship's brand new. State of the art. No one could go wrong. Ban the Colossal! Ban the Colossal! Ban the Colossal! Ban the Colossal! I'm here with the owner of the SS Colossal, Archibald Royce, which is about to set sail for England. Well, Mr. Royce, are you excited? Positively thrilled, Miss Glibly. The Colossal is the most advanced hydrofoil cruise ship in the world. It can cross the Atlantic in under two days, while offering the world's most elegant shipboard experience. But what do you say about the many environmental groups who claim that the Colossal's engine is a nuclear catastrophe waiting to happen? <laughs> Nonsense! I have total confidence in this vessel. We have a shipload of the world's wealthiest people. I've even brought my own fiancé along. In fact, we are to be wed aboard ship this very night. Shooting is a real blast, Murphy. You ought to try it. I get my target practice back home. Now see what him. the devil? Got him. <laughs> Data pro. <laughs> Think I'll take a dip in the pool. Get you later at the buffet. Now, see here, you have no right to mess up this ship's equipment. This ship's equipment messed up all on its own. Ridiculous. Now, if you continue these acts of vandalism, I'll see to it that all repairs are charged to you personally. This is going to be an expensive trip. Clever blaming me for his lousy robot cell phone. <laughs> Say, this carpet is wet. Leaking pipes, substandard wiring, a regular safety code nightmare. Attention, passengers. Uh, remember, this evening's feature event is the marriage ceremony of Archibald Royce in the Grand Banquet Hall. Hope they're serving a lemon cake. At least it would go with the rest of the ship. Oh, no. Dirty. That's de definitely dirty. A vanilla yogurt, please. I'm sorry, ma'am. We do not serve manila toga yeast. No, I said vanilla yogurt, please. I'm sorry, ma'am. We do not serve gorilla yoga fleece. Oh, this is just absurd. Allow me, madam. It must have a faulty voice recognition chip. The lady asked for vanilla yogurt. It's a perfectly simple request. I'm sorry, ma'am. We do not serve puree of pimple chest. Uh, the buffet is all you can eat, Burp. Not all you can wear. We need to chat. Maybe after lunch. But remember, no cop talk. We're on vacation. Not, not, not good. No, no. no. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Gotta clean. Gotta clean. <laughs> Hey, back off! Blast it, I'm unarmed. In more ways than one. The service droid model 2030. Some assembly definitely required. 
I win again. Sarge, you're not listening to me. No, you're not listening to me. I'm totally stressed out. I haven't had time off in five years, so I am trying... No, I am determined to relax. This ship is a floating disaster. So they gotta work out a few bugs. Big deal. Just because something goes a little bit wrong doesn't mean you have to go investigate. Besides, Royce has me scheduled to do my lecture later this afternoon, and I don't want you messing that up. Attention, passengers. Our seafood spectacular will begin serving in two minutes on the siesta deck. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go investigate some cracked crab. Help! Help! To help me! Now this is really heavy. That's the spirit, Murphy. Looks like you had a real workout. Mr. Cop, racking up additional charges on your bill, I see. This ship is a mess. I strongly suggest you stop the ship and return it to port before the whole thing sinks. Honestly, if this ship were the least bit dangerous, would I risk bringing along my bride-to-be? That depends on how well she can tread water. I know. Why don't I introduce you to her? You have a lot in common. Dearest, could you pop in for a moment? <gasps> this is my fiance. Francesca? Back in one minute. Ten four. And now, back to the show. Robocop? What are you doing here? Oh, just lying around. I'm so sorry. I was just practicing an old gymnastics routine when you... Stepped into the line of fire? Isn't she fabulous? I was on a hunting trip when I found her living in the wilds of Alaska. And we've been together ever since. Francesca, why don't you get some rest before the ceremony tonight? It's going to be quite a blowout. All right, Archie, I will. Sweet dreams, my little bombshell. Well... What do you think, Mr. Murphy? I'll admit she's not much to look at. But she's very obedient. <laughs> I'd better leave. Suddenly I feel a little sick to my stomach. Giving that lecture was a real kick. I feel like a million bucks. What about you, Murphy? Finally getting into the swing of things? To tell you the truth, Sarge, I feel a cramp coming on. You go ahead. Oh! I'll catch up. This is pro. Seems Royce has been rolling around with Dark. What are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. Uh, I 
I was up on the deck when I saw you get in the service elevator. I thought you'd simply made a mistake, until I saw you skulking about down here like a common criminal. It's Royce who's the criminal. I just found out he's tied in with Dark. Dark? I don't believe it. Nevertheless, if you'll just let me finish scanning the files... No! Archibald is a wonderful man. He rescued me. He takes care of me. He loves me. He doesn't, Francesca. You should hear how he talks about you behind your back. To him, you're nothing but another prize, a trophy. No worse, an obedient cyborg pet. How dare you! Wait! Francesca! You there! Intruder! Put your hands up! Actually, I prefer hands off! Okay, Deputy Droid, tell me everything you know about Royce and about this ship right now. What do you want? I know you don't believe me, but maybe you'll believe this. It's everything you don't want to know about your husband-to-be. Get out. Consider it a wedding gift. Attention passengers, the Royce wedding will begin in five minutes. That's my cue. Not so fast, creep. I had a little chat with your security droids. I know you bought some kind of electronic triggering device from our friends at Dark. The question is, what do you plan to blow up? Bully for you, Robocop. You and the rest of my critics are quite right about this ship. The Colossal is indeed a colossal mess. You simply have no idea. Yes, actually, I do. Here's a complete list of all design flaws and safety violations. Hmm. Well, as you might imagine, it would cost far more than the ship is worth to fix it all. So instead, you're going to sink the ship. And collect a tidy insurance settlement. With all those rumors of sabotage and terrorist threats I spread to the media, the blame is sure to fall where it belongs. <sighs> far from me. No sail, Royce. Even if you sink the Colossal, there will be a shipload of salvageable evidence. <laughs> the Colossal's nuclear power plant is so shoddy, it'll split open as soon as it hits bottom. Any recovery effort would be unthinkably hazardous. There's only one last bit of business to take care of now, and that's you. Now we'll have to scratch his name off the guest list. We'll be right back. Obey the law. Welcome back, citizens. <coughs> Light preserver. Foot propellers. Beloved, we are here assembled this evening to merge this man and this, uh, this... Woman. Woman, of course, woman, uh, in wedded optimization. <laughs> Baby, shh, keep it down. It's a wedding, not a wake. Get you a little fresh sea air. Just a little more. Oh. 
Now, if anyone present possesses any data to demonstrate why these two should not be linked in matrimonial compatibility, let them speak now. You got that right. Here, darling, something to remember me by. There's a bomb in this room. Everyone, evacuate in an orderly. What do you mean, a bomb? The ship's security droids made sure nothing dangerous came on board. Then what's this? The ring must be the triggering device Roy spot from Dark, which also means the bomb components inside you must have been inert, undetectable to that bogus ring activated it. Dark installed a self-destruct device when they built me. Afraid so. Now Royce is going to use you to blow up his rotten excuse for a ship. Here, let me. This cruise even has the best fireworks. You're gonna be okay. Where is he? Sometimes you have to do things the old fashioned way. Do some damage control, and I'm not talking about your broken heart. Don't worry about me, Murphy. I'm pretty tough. So I noticed. Let's go. I'll pump you find a leak. That shouldn't be hard. Water pump. Let's get back up on deck. I have another idea. Grappling hooks. One colossal on the rocks. Officers, this disc contains all of the relevant evidence and a video confession by Mr. Royce. Murphy, I've been looking all over for you. Boy, some great cruise, huh? Yeah, a thrill a minute. Well, actually, I only have one complaint. Did you notice how cold it got last night? It's like there was an iceberg in my cabin. You're close. No, as for you, young lady... Uh, Francesca, where is she? Disc panel. I'll be gone by the time you play this, Murphy. Just as well. See, I finally figured out you're the only one who's ever really cared about me. Right now, I need time alone to think and to mend. But maybe someday I'll track you down and we can sort it all out. Meanwhile, 
take care of yourself. What have you got there? Sarge, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Murph, I think you're confusing your old movies. Don't move, citizen. We'll be right back. And now, back to the show. Next, your favorite trio of inseparable siblings is coming at you with more zany adventures. It's right, Yakko, Wacko, and their adorable sister, Dot, are ready to wreak loads of havoc on Kids WB. Don't move a muscle. Steven Spielberg presents Animaniacs next. <laughs>